Been teaching this game for about 20 years and the biggest misconception I see uh, when I, I see students putting and, and golfers putting and, and I guess their ideals or their thoughts on what should happen with the putting stroke is, is often very incorrect. Uh, I want to talk a little bit, a bit about today is, is what happens with the path of the club and what happens with the club face itself as you're making a putting stroke. So here you'll see I've got one of Phil Kenyon's uh, My Putting Template. This is an 18 degree arc. I love these as a putting tool just to demonstrate to students what should happen in a putting stroke. And you'll see that it's lined up with this grey line to the target. This main black line is on an 18 degree arc and Phil actually makes these from 12 to 21 degrees depending on which arc you have and we'll talk more about that in another video because you know the line of the putter and the um, length of the putter all these things have, have a different um, variance on, on which arcs correct for you. The main thing I want to talk about today is that the club should open and close and the thing I like about this template is these black lines indicating where the face is in those positions. So once you have your setup, I think it's really important that you get the concept that the club is coming slightly inside and after it strokes the ball it comes inside this way as well. And as it does that, that the face will slightly open going back and close going through. I see so many people feel and think that the club goes straight back and through. And this just can't happen because of the lie angle of this putter. If a putter was a 90 degree angle and the grip was totally above, yes, it could go straight back and through. But because this putter that I'm using here is 72 degrees, I mean, that club needs to come back and through on a slight arc. And as it does that, the face will rotate slightly as well. So main thing, don't try and have the face go straight back and through because the only way you can do that is if this tends to move with it a lot. But allow that to be fairly stationary and then just rock from the torso allowing the club to work on its natural path. 